All right, lesson 9-4, comparison of series. We're going to look at two tests today, two additional tests that test for the convergence or divergence of positive term series. Okay, so the integral test, we had to show that the integral was the function that described the series was positive, continuous, and decreasing. So these two tests will be for positive term series. The first one is direct comparison. Take a minute. Get these in your notes. Okay, so we have two series, both positive, and we have this a sub n. One series is less than or equal to the other series for all n. If b sub n, if the larger series converges, then the smaller series will converge. And then if the smaller series diverges, then the larger series will diverge as well. Two things, the series must be positive, okay? And we have to think, when we show this, quite possibly maybe this condition isn't satisfied for the first several terms of the series. Well, this direct comparison can be modified for the values of n that make that true, okay? Convergence is not dependent on the first several terms. So if you need to modify the values for n, we can do that, and you'll see an example of that. Determine the convergence or divergence. Okay, so if you're comparing it to, the first thing you have to ask yourself, well, what can I compare this to? So looking at the given series, let's compare it to 1 over 3 to the n which is a convergent geometric. Okay, so since it's a convergent geom or why is it convergent geometric? The ratio is one third, and we know one third is, the absolute value of one third is between zero and one. Okay, so now let's check this out. Let's look at, I know that the terms of 1 over 2 plus 3 to the n are going to be less than the terms of 1 over 3 to the n. Okay, bigger denominator, smaller fraction. So since I'm comparing it to a convergent series, I can say this series converges as well. All right, so let's go back to the theorem real quickly. If b sub n converges, okay, so 1 over 3 to the n converged, then I showed that the smaller series, because a sub n is less than or equal to b sub n, I showed that the smaller series, it shows that the smaller series will converge as well. This. Okay, so we'll call this a sub n. And then this is b sub n. Okay, the next one. Determine the convergence or divergence of this series. So I'm going to compare this to 1 over square root of n. This is a divergent p series. Okay, p is equal to a half here. So I'm comparing it to a divergent series. Well, when I look at the term-by-term -term comparison, well, this, the terms of this series are less than the terms of this series. Okay, so then this test, this test will fail because it doesn't meet the requirements for the divergence here. Okay, so let's go back. If the smaller series diverges, then the larger series will diverge. Okay, so for this one, the smaller series is what is in question. Okay, so we can't, the smaller series is what's in question. So this is not what, the 1 over square root of n is not what we can compare it to. Okay, so since the smaller series is the divergent series, then we don't get anything from the comparison test. All right, so let's try and compare it to something else. All 
All right, well, let's compare to 1 over n, which is your divergent harmonic series. Okay, that's our p is equal to 1, all right, if we think of it as a p series. So now when I compare it, the terms of 1 over n are going to be less than the terms of 1 over 2 plus square root of n. Now, if we think about this, okay, well, let me, my series starts at 1. All right, so when n is equal to 1, I would have 1 and 1 third. Well, 1 isn't less than 1 third, okay? Well, how about 2? Let's look at these two series. When are these two series equal to each other? So these would be equal to each other at n is equal to 4, okay? Square root of 4 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. So this is an example where this is true, This is true for all values of n greater than or equal to 4. So even though when n is 1, 2, or 3, this condition is not satisfied, eventually for any, value, any values of n bigger than or equal to 4, the inequality is true. Okay, so now what do we have? 1 over n is the smaller series. So let me go back to the beginning. If the smaller series diverges, then the larger series has to diverge. So now the direct comparison test applies, and what can we conclude? That this series must oop, diverge as well. Saying diverge and writing converge. Okay, so again, this has to be true. If the larger series converges, the smaller series must also converge. If the smaller series diverges, then the larger series must also diverge. Okay, the next test, the limit comparison test. So again, both series are positive. Now I have the ratio of the limits of each this nth term of each sequence is a finite and positive limit, then those two series will either both converge or both diverge. All right, so let's check this out. Now this is limit comparison, so we still need to be able to compare it to something. All right, so when I look at this, A and B are positive numbers. I'm going to compare it to... 1 over n, all right, and that is your divergent harmonic. So since I'm comparing it to a divergent series, then I need to show that this series in question will diverge as well. Okay, so it's the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth term of the sequence. So that would be a sub n divided by b sub n. Okay, limit as n approaches infinity. This would become n over a n plus b. Now using my properties of limits at infinity, this limit is 1 over a. I'm told a is a positive number, so since my limit is positive and finite, I can conclude that the series in question diverges as well. All right, so this is right from your textbook, this little chart here. Um, the limit comparison works very well when you're comparing what they describe as messy algebraic, and you can compare it to a P-series. Okay, so we have our determining, notice that each of these, so convergent P-series, divergent P-series, and then when we compare the exponents on the top and bottom, it's a convergent P-series I would be comparing it to. So it's sort of like our limits at infinity, 
All right, when choosing a series for comparison, you can disregard all but the highest powers of n in both the numerator and denominator. All right, let's check this one out. So then what can I compare this to? Let me compare it to highest power in the numerator, to highest power in the denominator. Okay, this simplifies to 1 over n to the 3 halves. P is bigger than 1, so this is a convergent P series. So the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth terms, so I have square root of n. Now dividing by 1 over n of the 3 halves will really just be multiplying by n to the 3 halves over 1. Okay, doing a little simplifying. n to the 1 half times n to the 3 halves would give me n squared. So I have n squared over n squared plus 1. This limit as n approaches infinity is 1. Since the limit is positive and finite, what can I conclude? I can conclude that the series in question converges as well. Okay, last example n times 2 to the n over 4n cubed plus 1. Okay, in the interest of time, I'm going to give you the comparison whoop, to use, and we'll talk about in class why this is what we would use. So I'm going to compare it to 2 to the n over n squared. Okay, just a little bit of work for this. I know this is a divergent series, and it's divergent by your nth term test. Okay, we've studied this one. You've seen it several times. But if you think about the limit as n approaches infinity, this will continue to grow and this limit will eventually get to 2. So as we cancel those terms out and continually use L'Hopital's rule. So this is a divergent series. All right. So limit as n approaches infinity, n times 2 to the n over 4n cubed plus 1. Okay, multiply by the reciprocal of what I'm comparing it to. Okay, they'll cancel each other out. I get the limit as n approaches infinity of n cubed over 4n cubed plus 1. Okay, this limit is 1 fourth, so since that comparison of limits is positive and finite, what can I conclude? The series in question diverges as well. Okay, that's it for today.